my, my view on it is, <coughs> see, the market is clearly tougher than it was mm. last year. And I've, I've heard people say that, you know, last year was easy or that, that some of us got lucky, etc., etc. But I think mm. selling houses was easy last year, but you still have to be the agent chosen to sell it. So I think, I think there's a certain degree of that. 21 was easier than 22. I think 22 had a noticeable change in it around the summertime. Yeah. I think we were hearing all the time about energy prices and fuel costs. Interest rates. Interest rates yeah. were going up and they'd already etched up and there was bigger rises to come and inflation was out of control and God knows what else. So I think the wind, there was a little bit of wind still in the sails probably by about June, July. Yeah. I think as we hit the summer holidays, any wind that was in that was certainly taken out of it by quasi cartel. And then I guess you hope for sort of September to be okay, and then we obviously had the yeah. pass of the Queen, yeah. which yeah. was probably delayed things by about two or three weeks, you know, with the greatest of respect. Then a mini budget or after, that I can't remember. That post, yeah. That was after, and yeah. then a World Cup just before Christmas. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's a sort of a perfect storm for a, a, a bad Slowly. Q3 and Q4, yeah. isn't it, really, when you and think about it? And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, and I think it, it probably meant that we had a bit of built-up tension come the start of 2023. I think 2023 started really optimistic. Yeah, there's likewise. There's a lot of good news out there if you're prepared to dig for it. There's a lot of news outlets which just don't seem to turn on to good news, which is fine. But our job, I think, is to educate local people in our area about what interest rate rises today mean. 